Spot the car and I can't. Detective, you are here to discredit me. It's that time of year when horror movies are coming out and A Haunting in Venice comes to theaters today. But is it worth the fright? Let's bring in movie critic Gray Drake for her review. Welcome back to the show. It looks pretty spooky. Ooh, Ooh, yeah. 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 <laughs> A AKA Mr. Big Fancy Mustache. I love it, She's yeah. debunking a seance. <laughs> I really like this one a lot. This is what the series needed. Now, Kenneth Branagh has done two other of these Agatha Christie adaptations, and this one is spooky. So we have the same kind of all star cast, like Kelly Riley from Yellowstone mm -hmm. and Oscar winner Michelle Yeoh. And what happens is Hercule Perot's bestie Tina Fey shows up and says, I want to debunk this seance. And he goes, uh, All right. And people start turning up dead. Ooh, I uh -huh. love Pearl. I love Agatha Christie. I feel yeah. like you can't go wrong. And then you put it in a spectacular setting. Totally. You it's, had me with all the actors. Right? I love everybody in this. Yeah. That's yeah. not even all of them. Like wow. it's so it's fun. And this is just the shot in the arm that mm. they needed. These movies are already really popular, but this put a nice fresh spin. Mm. I'm going to see this one. You've convinced me, Gray. Okay, so let's talk about Love at First Sight on Netflix. Okay, so not creepy at all. In fact, <laughs> okay. I get to t finally talk about an airplane, and it doesn't involve someone freaking out and losing <laughs> their minds. Instead, it's like these two charming, beautiful young people, including Haley Lou Richardson from White Lotus, uh, and they meet from on a flight from JFK to Heathrow. And they fall in love. Aww. I've never heard that theme before. Right? <laughs> what? What? Totally new, totally unexpected. Now, the only thing that happens in this one is that she loses his phone number. So when they're in London, she has to figure out how to find him because she couldn't possibly let him go. And I think this is a great example of why streaming is excellent mm. because if we were talking about paying full ticket price, I might not recommend it uh -huh. so strongly. Good point. But when you're just hanging out at home, like get on your yep. comfies and just enjoy these really charming actors. Mm -hmm. just Sounds curious. like a perfect Friday night to me. Yeah. Totally. A glass of wine, pajamas. So warm and fuzzy. <laughs> um, and lastly, the other black girl on Hulu. What do you okay. think? Okay, so we're kind of back to a little bit of eeriness here. Okay. Where we have Sinclair Daniel, who is in the latest Insidious movie, mm -hmm. and she plays a young assistant editor. She loves reading, she loves her job. But she can't help but notice she's the only black person in mm. her company. So when a woman comes in who's hired, she becomes the only other black woman. And she's excited at first. And then she thinks, is this woman my friend or a foe? Uh -oh. mm. Right. And so there are elements of horror in this. It's not a straight, scary uh, TV show. Ten episodes on Hulu, by the way. But it is like a mystery. And I have to tell you, I've only seen the first few. All ten are uploaded. I can't wait to binge. Ooh. It sounds like an interesting, like an intriguing plot, totally. I will say. And it's based on a book which I now can't wait to read because uh, the talent is off the charts. And I'm like, oh, no. Is she a friend or foe? Like, give me the hot goss. Like, right. give it to me. Great. Thank <laughs> you so much. Always love your reviews.